Hey Zoe, this is a Super Zomagod Barbecue and I'm back after Ring Domination and Ring Domination gave me that amazing Undertaker card and about 150 odd rare cards. Don't know how you guys have got on but it was pretty crappy for me and a lot of people. So let me know how you got on Ring Domination, uh, sorry, Rare Domination as we call it. Uh, now first of all we have a huge bit of news regarding my deck. Now. Don't know if you guys actually follow me on Twitter. If you do, you probably know this already. However, uh, I managed to, in the last few days, since Ring Domination, because Ring Domination was on Thursday, I finished it on Thursday. Uh, since Ring Domination finished, I actually managed to pull myself and get myself a, a couple of pretty nice rewards and a couple of pretty nice packs. I've stopped the packs completely now, unless it's just purely for like what I call shits and giggles. Uh, but basically, I have decided to uh, train those cards now in preparation for Teams PCC. One of them is perfect, and I mean perfect for Teams PCC, and I'm going to show you them now. That These are two of the top, as in the best cards in the game. So physically, in Survivor tier, these are the number one. Now, there are another two number one cards. You have the likes of The Rock, you have the likes of Brock Lesnar, and you have these two bad boys. Yeah, as you can see in front of you, I got myself, after waiting on Network has finished, an Undertaker Pro, which is awesome, and a Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now, a lot of people have said, why have you trained your Austin that way? The reason I've trained my Austin that way is purely to benefit Roman Reigns. Because Austin is the best down arrow in the game. Now, he's not the best down arrow when it comes to speed, but he is when it comes to other, other stats such as power and toughness. And overall stat points, for example, he can go into charisma like I've done here. And the reason I've done this is to purely to compliment Roman Reigns. There's no point in me doing anything else with him, otherwise I'm leaving a stat point completely unchecked. And that's where cards like Stardust can come in. And Stardust is actually really, really useful. Um, and Stardust can basically use Roman Reigns as a great point for anything other than power and toughness. Uh, and that's where Roman Reigns would be the best for that kind of card. But for Stone Cold, it was about balancing him out and giving him overall balance and that will then go into my Team PCC deck for me to use in the Team PCC tomorrow. Now, we're not actually sure if it is Team PCC, but Team PCC is being rumoured. Uh, they have said a team event, so it potentially could be a team event of another kind. We haven't had it rumoured yet, but I would be hesitant to guess it's probably Team PCC. And we also have the Undertaker over here. Now, Undertaker, again, is not really made to complement Seth. It's more to complement the right arrows that I can get without seeing the event cards of the future because I'm not psychic. But if I use uh, Seth as an example, he's got uh, this Seth Rollins is designed to specifically beat, and I've actually talked about him before. I researched this Seth Rollins pro for hours to make sure that I got the best possible pro I could out of him. And he actually beats a lot of the lower. Uh, regardless in at least two or if not three stats. Uh, there's a couple of cards that can be leveled around to beat him. For example, uh, you can level a Roman Reigns to beat him if you do on a Toughest and Charisma. Basically, this Seth has not been butchered to um, beat someone because it can still proc in Charisma and the Charisma is still decent. But it's designed to basically catch people off guard when it comes to Shawn Michaels because a lot of people with Shawn Michaels are going to go straight down the lines of Speed Charisma. Now, Shawn Michaels' best stat is charisma. Therefore, if I go on with speed, uh, then people are going to get caught out by the fact that I've got lots of toughness as well as lots of speed. And Seth overall just benefits from that. But the way it works with Undertaker is the Undertaker comes in with the power and comes in with the toughness that combines with Seth Ron's toughness. Uh, Seth comes in with the speed and then Seth can back, back up with the charisma. But it's, to be honest with Charisma, I'm probably more likely to use Reigns and Stone Cold. Those are my two brand new Survivor Pros. Let me know what you think of those and my leveling techniques and my token techniques in the comment section below. I know some people are going to probably be like, Dude, why did you put my stuff in their Charisma? At the end of the day, I just thought it was best for business to do that. Because the other thing is you've got cards like The Rock. The Rock can be leveled quite highly in power instead of Charisma. If someone does that, then I have to make sure I've got good power cards to uh, go against that. And there's a lot of people, more people with rock cards than there are with Taker and Stone Cold cards in, around in Survivor Tier at the moment. Now we have also our King of the Ring Awards. Now, 
my last King of the Ring awards before I got my most recent King of the Ring uh, set up was uh, the Taker card. The Taker card was actually King of the Ring award. The Stone Cold came for a package, the one-off pack. I thought, screw it, I'm just going to open it, and I got my Stone Cold Pro. Now, my most recent King of the Ring awards, unfortunately, was a Diva. Unfortunately, it was also another single. Yeah. Uh, it's it's not great at the moment. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I've got five five diva singles. I've got Paige one of the best in the tier. I've got Banks one of the best in the tier. I've got Bailey who's one of the best down arrows. I think she is the best down arrow actually. Uh, she you got uh, Alicia Fox who's just an up arrow, and you've got Brie who's one of the best cards. She's on level with Sasha Banks I think, uh, but he's also amazing in speed and charisma. And I just don't have a pro yet, which is just really frustrating. But just got to keep going on. I did say to myself at the beginning of the tier that I would change this picture of Paige straight away. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan at all. Uh, you know what? Because I, I just, I, I love this so much. I'm going to go to Michael Jackson. <laughs> anyway, board pull. I got myself a board pull uh, recently. And that was actually, I believe, yesterday I got myself a board pull. In the morning, I got myself another Rusev. Yay. Uh, Rusev. Makes a second Rusev Pro and actually makes the second Rusev I pulled from the board. Oh, it sucks. But Rusev, as overall, is a decent card. At least he's not as bad as Mark Henry. Um, <laughs> I'm not saying if you're bad at Mark Henry. Uh, but yeah, basically, he's a good down arrow for the fact that I don't have a mini of the buggers already. And it'll go in my Road to Glory deck and that will help in some way. I might just decide to level this one up as like a... A PCC demon. Have you ever heard those beforehand? I'm actually going to talk about those in a video in the future in terms of PCC tips. Um, but basically, uh, for PCC and uh, not teams PCC, just to clarify, but for PCC, uh, a good route to go down, especially if you've got extra survivor pros that are just there. Uh, if you just happen to be lucky enough to get them, or you get one before, let's say a road to glory or whatnot, it's better just to level them out. Uh, to such an extent that they beat legendary cards, not necessarily just go all for whack and just pro it as soon as possible. And let's talk about pulls because I pulled a couple of re really, really decent cards recently. Um, I've actually got myself an Eve Pro, which I hadn't had beforehand. I got my off the board. The legendary pulls in Survivor Plus Plus for me have been insane. I also got myself a Daniel Bryan the other day, which I think I actually mentioned in my previous video. And um, don't worry, I didn't silver, I silver started on purpose. I, I leveled up all the way to the end and then got to level 19 right at the end and just went that silver star. Same with this page I got from the King of the Ring as well. Uh, Bray Wyatt I just got from my login rewards and did the same thing. Uh, da, 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 ha, here we go. So I got myself a rock from the most recent King of the Ring with The Undertaker as well. I got The Undertaker and The Rock. And then pulled this beauty off the board of Brock Lesnar literally half an hour ago. And also got this stuff for as well. And then last night, I actually pulled myself a legendary Money in the Bank briefcase. Which is going to not really help out. Uh, maybe I might use it for one or two things. But I'm more looking at the one stat things at the moment. And getting a couple of survivors uh, at the moment. You know, this is useful. It's decent. Uh, and then just about two resets after I got my uh, legendary card. Uh, I actually got myself a Shawn Michaels as well. So it's just going to be like leveling fodder. And I just keep pulling epic supports left, right, and center. It just literally doesn't stop. Uh, my, my poor luck on Cyber Plus Plus, if I needed them, would it be amazing. But, you know, I've pretty much got all the supports I need here. So this is basically just additional fodder, which, you know, maybe for a fusion chamber if it comes out in the future. What I'm going to do now is actually play a little bit of exhibition in Survivor Plus Plus. I'm close to my pull. I'm not, uh, I don't think I'm going to get in this video. If I did, I'd be really, really, really happy. Just give me a diva, please, cat daddy. Um, and then we also have, uh, so here I'm on 12,463 games. Uh, I'm, I'd say about 200 games away from my pool, but if I get one in, the, in this video, that'd be fantastic. So we play our first game against the good old Kill Moose Kill, and there's actually three, sorry, three YouTubers I wanted to shout out in this video, which I'm going to do during the time that I'm actually playing Exhibition. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is just uh, start here with the, like, Brett Hart. That Brett looks amazing. That is going to pretty much kill any Shawn Michaels that comes up against him. Uh, let's chuck in the two Divas. Um, should be okay here. Uh, so, Kill Moose Kill, first of all, go and uh, watch his videos. He's an amazing player. He's actually really, really, really funny as well. So, he's actually really cool to watch. 
uh, that table, though. Sorry, Moose. 3-0 uh, win. Uh, but, yeah, if you go and see his details, you'll show up in the top right-hand side of the screen now. That would be really, really awesome of you. On top of that, we also have a gentleman by the name of, if you don't watch my streams, uh, Rare Spark. And he was actually in the most recent Ring Domination video as well. Uh, Rare Spark is also available uh, to watch again. He started playing WWE Supercard. He's in the low levels at the moment, so any support you give to him will be awesome. And he's trying to make his way up through Epic to Legendary to Survivor as soon as possible. Uh, he was the unlucky soul who uh, pulled a uh, Bret Hart from the packs that he opened and then uh, wasn't able to get the Bret Hart because he was in his... Uh, he wasn't in the tier. So basically he wasn't able to actually get the card, which is slightly, slightly unfair. Uh, so yeah, again, in the top right hand side of the screen now, you are going to see uh, Raspbox uh, details pop up. Go and check him out. He is an awesome YouTuber. Uh, has been going for a long time as well and put a lot of effort into it. We both have roughly the same amount of subscribers. Uh, I'm just hoping his uh, supercar video start to raise up again, uh, which they will do because he took a bit of a hiatus from the game after season one, like a lot of people did in all fairness. Uh, okay, so let's uh, get the last next couple of picks. Okay, go after Alb wrong. I'm not purposely avoiding people with Survivor Pro Divas, but this is one of the reasons why I'm getting so frustrated with Survivor Pro Divas. Because if I don't have a Survivor Pro Diva, I cannot physically compete at the level of um, Survivor Plus Plus. Because as soon as I get to Survivor Plus Plus, it literally is people who've got one or two Survivor Pro Divas already, some even taggable. Which means that as soon as it gets to my Divas, it's like, well, I, I can't physically compete. It's almost literally impossible. What's he done to that Stardust? Wow, okay. He did, he done that Alb wrong. So anyway, uh, let's move on to the next game. And the last person with a shout out is someone who was lucky enough to get a very, very nice pull of the variety I've just been speaking of. Yeah, Mr. Fuji. Fuji, 720p. He has just poured himself a Survivor Pro Diva. I'm not going to say you what, because obviously that would completely ruin the fun. Go into the top right-hand side of the screen, which is showing up just now, and uh, it will actually be, it will, I imagine one of his first videos pops up uh, that talks about his Survivor Pro, Survivor Pro Diva that he got. Go and check out his videos and give him a sub if you don't mind. That would be amazing. So on the subject of playing Supercard, as you can see right here, we have our Teams PCC or Team Event tomorrow. Let me know if you think it's going to be something different than Teams PCC, or let me know if you think it's going to be a Teams PCC, and if you think it's going to be anyone in particular. Now, me personally, I can see it being a Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose versus Rusev, and Barrett, because it would just be great for me to get another Rusev, wouldn't it, Cat Daddy, you gits? Uh, so, yeah, I, I personally think it's going to be Roman Reigns versus and uh, Dean Ambrose. I can see Dean Ambrose being the card that everyone can get. And I don't know if they'll do the top one, but maybe the top three can get the Survivor Pro. Or maybe they'll give the Survivor Pro out to number one. I've, I, I still, I've got a feeling they're going to change the rewards this time. I don't think they're going to keep it exactly the same. Now, I showed you, I said about this earlier on with, with uh, Stardust and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Look at the difference. The difference is very clear to see. You can pretty much guarantee that if, it's, if a Charisma game comes up and a Stardust is involved, then Stardust is going to win. It's the reason I bumped up his uh, Charisma a little bit, uh, because then you're basically going to be at least a little bit protected against any uh, crazy Charisma stats. Uh, Man Love as well is going to go down, which is awesome. Uh, we're not going to get any awesome pulls, I don't think, here. Not like I just got with the Legendary and then the Epic afterwards. Uh, I was really surprised like, to get that actually. Uh, board resets are quite rare in uh, this in uh, any in any tier, but Survivor Plus Plus has been really, really, really beneficial to me. Uh, let me know if you're actually putting anything else other than a rare in Ring Domination this week. And uh, are you hyped for Road to Glory next week? Are you going to be going for the second Undertaker card? Do you think that they're going to actually give out a decent uh, pro this time in, in Road to Glory? They gave one out in Ring Domination, so. Do you think they're actually going to give one out in Road to Glory as well? Given that, in, in my personal opinion, RD is probably... That, that Dean Ambrose card is amazing. I so want that design. Uh, I, it, it makes me... Because I was only really getting back into the game when I, that card came available. Um, yeah, I'm screwed. I want that Bret Hart as well. This, so this is the thing. With, the, with, with all of the stuff that went around with the Fusion uh, Chamber and Lottie Fusion Chamber... For me, they just need to make the whole catalogue open. I know that doesn't give any kind of error exclusivity. There's a rare Rusev. 
uh, to you know anyone having the cards and whatnot. But they at least should make the fusion chamber a little bit more open so you can train more cards. And I personally think all the PCC cards should be available to you straight away. Or at least just open up the catalogue to everyone. That's just my opinion. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be it from me. I'm going to just finish off this last game. Uh, and we're going to get through to the end of this. Uh, I love... Th this exhibition deck is perfect. As long as you don't come against a Pro Diva, you're pretty much sorted. You don't... You very, very, very lose. I'm just going to chuck in... Uh, ah, yes! Because Neville's just come up as well. I don't know if you guys have seen this... But they did change Neville's proc. It was a complete craptastic card. It literally was a power and speed based card with a toughness and charisma based proc. It was so just random. It was crazy. But they've now changed it to power and speed finally. I think they've made another couple of changes as well. I don't even know what they've changed. But yeah, basically for me, that's that's actually really, really awesome. I'm going to... Um, it's good for my Road to Glory that can ring domination deck for example uh let's go against eddie eddie's another team uk player he actually has a survivor pro uh becky lynch which would be awesome to go up against this guy's been so lucky in this tier i, I literally shit you not he has been so freaking lucky uh, and it all comes down to his first game by the way if you do not win this first game against roman reigns you uh, for, against the person's roman reigns you are completely screwed because uh, i guarantee you the next match is going to be if it's a diva i'll be Oh, wow, okay, no, I've, I've actually been given a bit of a let off. Okay, so I'm going to beat Eddie with my Undertaker. Yeah. Um, and also, we have. Uh, I didn't get to see the, any Survivor Divas in this episode. If I can go up against someone there, I'll show you one when it comes up. Uh, that's, that Mr. Perfect is so creepy. Uh, let's see if we can get a Survivor Pro Diva and then we'll sign off. Uh, Marty has one, but I'm not going to go up against him because he keeps putting it out of his deck. Uh, Till has one. Let's go after Till. See if I can show you it. Because some of these the Survivor Pro Divas, had, the stats are just unreal. They're as good as the males this time. Uh, so let's just go with a Charisma match here. Uh, should be okay. Yeah, going to be absolutely fine because Mark Henry has no Charisma at all. They really butchered his stats. I personally think he should have better stats than that. Uh, Toughest and Speed. That's Seth Rollins. The, what should be another single male match? There we go. So we're not even going to be able to see a Survivor Pro Diva. That's going to be it, though. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know again in the comment section how you've been going with Ring Domination. If you've been uh, pulling more than rare cards. Because that's not had the chance uh, for me to pull anything more than a rare card. Go ahead and start training my Rusev up and drop down to Survivor Plus. Um, but I hope you guys have an awesome day, awesome afternoon where you are. With Teams PCC also coming tomorrow, let us know in the comment section if you're going to be going after those cards. And, most importantly, ZOLEVE!